Hello and welcome to the BC Design Channel. Today I'm going to be making a whiskey bottle or wine bottle holder using this walnut and maple. The two walnut pieces I have are off cuts from an old project and I'm going to use these as the base for the holder. The angle on the end of these pieces is 45 degrees so I'm going to set my miter saw for 45 degrees and cut the piece of maple I just clamped the maple piece to my wa walnut base. I'm just going to get a pencil and mark my first line for the dado. And then I'm going to transfer it onto the other piece when I have the whole dado marked out. So I have my dado marked on this side, you can see the two lines. What I need to do now just make sure the two pieces are level together then I can just use my square make sure I'm meeting the line on this piece exactly and then just draw a line Then move it down and do the same at the front line. To cut these dados on the miter saw, I need to put in a sacrificial fence because when I set the depth adjustment on the miter saw and try to cut these if I have it against the normal saw fence you won't be able to get a flat bottom on the cut because of the curvature of the blade there will be a high point left at the back of all the cuts so the easiest way to get around that is to put in your sacrificial fence put your piece up against that and then cut your dado and you'll be left with a flat bottom when I'm doing this to get a nice fit I don't cut right on the line I like to stay a little bit back from the line and then clean up the cut with the chisel. Just going to use my chisel to clean out the bottoms of the dados to make sure I get a nice tight fit. So that's clean enough. Now the next thing I have to do is make a little dado across the maple piece for a shelf made of walnut just to hold the bottle. Just have a check on what the fit is like. Tight so I can take another small bit off. Check the fit again. Oh. That's perfect, so I can stop there. Okay, I started sanding all the pieces at a 120 grit, and I've brought them up to 320 now. I've put a chamfer on all the sharp edges on the front and the rear of the legs. Next, I'm going to cut a 45 degree angle here 
and chamfer the edges the same as the legs. I softened all the edges that I chamfered just to give it a bit of an older look. These two little oak pieces of scrap to stop the clamp from damaging the walnut. So now that's in the clamp. I need to add the front piece in that slot here. So now we just leave it to dry overnight. I'll give it a final sanding tomorrow. And then I'll decide what finish I want to use on it. I'm not sure what I'm going to go with yet. So the holder's all glued together now. But one problem I noticed is that the bottle could roll. So I'd looked through the scrap and found this piece that had a wedge shape cut out. I'm going to cut two inch and a quarter long pieces off it. And glue one on each side to stop the bottle from rolling off. Now I'm just going to cut these two pieces off and then glue them onto the holder. I'm just using super glue to attach this. It's not going to need to be very strong, there's going to be no weight on it or anything like that. It's just basically there to stop the bottle from rolling off. I cut these four pieces of brass with the hacksaw. I'm just going to use them as decoration on the side of the joints. It doesn't need to go the whole way through because the joints are already strong enough. It'll just make it look a bit nicer. I just put some blue tape onto the drill bit to mark how deep I want to drill for the piece of brass. Now I have to mark where I want to place them on the joints on the side of the bottle holder. So there are the two points marked on both sides. Now I need to drill them and fit the brass pins. Now I've all four pins in. I'm just going to let that dry overnight. Come back tomorrow, sand them flush. Give everything the last sand actually, and then I'm ready for a finish. I decided to use Danish oil to finish it. So I have a bit in a glass here. I'm just going to apply it with some sponges like Tim Sway recommended instead of buying the brushes. That work out much more expensive. You could buy three of these for three big of these yellow sponges 
for a uh, three euro whereas one brush is 150 